Welcome back, Planet Coaster fans, theme park enthusiasts, and friends of the channel. My name is Shadow Phoenix, as you well know, uh, and I am doing another Planet Coaster park tour today. In the last episode, I said I would probably not do another one of these because I just wasn't getting any submissions. Uh, and then, wouldn't you know it, in the last week, I've gotten two. <laughs> so what we're going to do today is the first one that I received, and it is called MKP Columbus World. And this is most likely one of the biggest parks that I have, like, been able to do a park tour for so far. This thing, I, I've looked over it. It is huge. There is so much to see. I'm going to try to do it all in a single episode, but I may have to split this up into two episodes. So let's go ahead and go on in through the entrance here while I talk about this. So um, this is a park by one of my friends named Nimzel, and he's a friend of the channel. And uh, he, this is his first park in Planet Coaster. Uh, everything he created was made without any workshop content, he says. Um, it, it's a huge theme park. I, I'm not joking. This thing is huge. Uh, that's why we don't have any guests in the park. Uh, basically, I've been granted VIP access to it, and this way we don't actually have to worry about guests and other stuff, and we can just go straight on the rides. So we got a little bit of time before the park opens and the rest of the guests come in to enjoy it all to ourselves. Uh, so, uh, as I said, MKP Columbus World is a huge theme park. Uh, it's got four themed areas, including eight coasters, two water rides, one dark ride, two transport rides, a bunch of flats, and two hotels. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go into the park right now. This is, uh, after you get in through the entrance, this is the very beginning of the park. And one of the biggest things I have to say, the biggest compliment I, I can possibly give this park is that you can tell he it's been a labor of love that built this park uh, all the way down to one of the biggest things I love the atmosphere uh, a fantastic job with the sound effects in the game and it really adds to the, the feeling that you're actually here and the theme. oh oh it went over top of us oh I totally missed that wait is it gonna come back yes it is here it comes Obviously, oh, this is an invert. Okay, cool. Awesome. Very, very great creation. This very much reminds me a little bit of like um, kind of a, a Bush Gardens type of park. But I want to tell you, as soon as I come through these gates, it just, I feel like I'm in an Assassin's Creed game. And this is just amazing. So, as I said, this park is huge. We're going to try to go through it as fast as we can. So, hopefully I don't miss anything because there's a lot of hidden stuff, like, everywhere. Oh, look at the little pirate guy up there looking for all the visitors when they come in. So, these signs are all around everywhere, so they should help us to not actually get lost, hopefully. <laughs> uh, we're going to head over here into this area over here. So... Right off the path, as soon as you enter the park, there is the one of the park's transport rides that will take you all the way around the park to wherever you need to go. It is called Time Express, and the entrance for that is right here. We're not going to ride it, but I am going to kind of just show you here real quick. So, yep, yeah, we got a train, and this train takes you all the way around the park. And I'm not sure how many stations there are, because I haven't ridden it yet. <laughs> um, but it's surrounded over here by this coaster, which is called Inquisition, which is the park's invert coaster. Um, and the entrance to said coaster is inside of this building right here. And beautiful, well done building. Like everything in there, I mean, like I said, this park really just reminds, oh, that's a coaster. <sighs> I just noticed the tracks coming off the side of the head. <laughs> so everything about this park is um, is just so well done and so well themed. And the entrance to the coasters are all inside. Not all inside, but a lot of them are inside these buildings right here. So the first coaster that we come across is Inquisition. Like I said, it is the park's B&M. We're going to go ahead and we're going to jump in the line on this. And um, let's see. So yeah, we're we're going to yeah we'll go this way. 
we won't use the fast pass since uh, there's no other guests and stuff in the park. We'll take the normal route around and hit up here. Up we go. <clears throat> And then once we get up here off the line, oh, it goes all the way around there, and you got a little overview into this little plaza down there, a little market square kind of thing. And here's the entrance. All right, so we're going to wait on the next train. We're going to take a ride on Inquisition, and uh, I will come back and give my thoughts about that. Alright guys, I just got off of the Inquisition coaster and wow, what an awesome ride. It even had this really cool like dive down into a tunnel. Uh, so very, very awesome. Very awesome indeed. Uh, across the square over here, looks like we have, oh, there's a little place that we can eat. Looks like we got a little plaza here for dining. You know, in case you want to enjoy the picnic. And listen to these sounds. Like, I hope you guys can hear these, because this is, this is awesome. I really feel like I'm in a market, like an old market. Uh, so we have the Cafeteria San Rafael, which uh, I guess we'll take a look in here and see what's in here. Let's see what our dining options are. Oh, only one. Uh, looks like it is a Street Fox coffee. Okay, so this is a coffee square. All right, so if I didn't mention it, I don't think I did. The first area, the entire park is based on the Conqueror's era around 1500 AC. And the first area that we are in here is called Sevilla. Uh, we, he says it is the unique port to the New World around 1500 AC. Uh, it's a typical Andalusian, which is Spanish, uh, streets full of palaces and also some Muslim decoration. Um, let's see. And. The next coaster we have is located inside of here, and it is the MKP Cathedral. I don't, I'm not sure why he puts MKP before the beginning of everything. Now, I know his steam name is Nimzel, so not sure exactly why. But here is the entrance to Cathedral, and what an entrance! I mean, this thing is huge. Wait, does the entrance go down? I feel like it goes down. All right, let's take a look into the fast pass lane here. See if I can follow this up and around. Okay, yeah. So is this it? No, this is not it. This is still the line. <laughs> uh, does it go this way? Yes, it does. Here we go. Oh, sweet. Um, all right, looks like they're testing the ride. So we're going to wait on the next train. And then I'm going to hop on this one. We're going to check out this ride here. So just a moment, guys.
Alright, wow, what a rush. I mean, that was a fantastic ride. Very, very well done. I was not expecting the launch. Like, I didn't even know this was a launch coaster uh, until I got right up to it and saw the cars. But the launch takes you up. Uh, let's see. Let's go over here and look at this real quick because I'm pretty sure we can. I love the sound effects that he's used here. I can't, I can't say that enough. Uh, yeah, that tower right there. So it launches you up that tower and then drops you back down the other side into the rest of the coaster. I have no idea how tall that co that tower right there is, but I was just, I mean, I should have been expecting it because I saw the track on the side. Um, I didn't think it would launch me up. I was thinking it was, uh, when I first saw the tower, I thought this might be like, what, like a Eurofighter? And then once I got up to it, saw it was a launch coaster, I just wasn't expecting the launch to be like right there. That is cool, and then it drops you down into some amazing scenery. Just absolutely amazing scenery. So, uh, very, very well done. We're going to continue going around this area over here. Oh, let's see, what is this? This is, uh, a lot of this stuff I can't pronounce because I think it's Spanish. So, um, Mason Los Colonios. Uh, okay, I butchered that. <laughs> uh, but this apparently is a a cafe. Looks like. Oh, I love the little benches. That that's good theming for those. So a lot of the cafes and stuff haven't opened yet. A lot of the workers still haven't gotten into uh, position for the day yet. Because like I said, we are here early before the rest of the crowd gets here. So kind of a media day kind of thing. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's run around over here, and we're going to go across this bridge, and this bridge is so beautiful. It really, really is. Um, let's see, there is... You know what, we're going to, before we go over the bridge, I do want to go over here real quick, because I've got my map in my hand, and I'm looking at my map, and I see that there is... Oh, I thought that said Call of Duty. <laughs> uh, Cal... Cal... Okay, I can't pronounce that. And I'm not even going to try because I'm going to butcher it. Foreign languages are not my specialty. Not at all. Let's see. So there should be... A ride over here somewhere, if I'm not mistaken. Not sure where it's at. Am I behind it? I could be behind it. <laughs> uh, let's see. What is this? Oh, what do we have here? La Casera. I almost thought that said Little Caesars. That's oh, a gopi. Okay. Uh, oh, here. I think we found the entrance for this. Okay, what do we have here? This is... Uh, transporte a la zona... Oh! It's a transport ride. Transport to the old civilization zone through the new world. Okay. Uh, okay, so this is a boat ride. Okay, cool. We're gonna back out of here. I don't feel like doing the transport rides right now. And what do we have over here? Um, Heladera Reyes? Okay. I think I may have pronounced that right. Anything's possible. Alright, let's head back over here. We're going to go across this bridge. Because I, I remembered seeing that boat now uh, before. So let's head over here and back around. I love this this entrance, this little like arch over top of the bridge. I mean, the way that he's put the grass and stuff on here and everything is just very very well done. And this bridge is ooh, look at the the just oh, and the music just changed. Very ominous. As you go across this bridge and you see the, the coaster standing, just presenting itself to you there as you go across this bridge. 
And over there is the... It looks like we have the... I mean, this so reminds me of Bush Gardens. Like, the photos and stuff I've seen of where the, uh, the boat goes under the bridge and stuff. And you get, like, the view over it. This is so... I see a wooden coaster back in the background. Hmm. Oh, so well done. This jungle theming. I love it. Alright, so I think what we're doing is we're going into... This might be the pirate area, maybe? No! This is, uh, this is called the New World. Yeah, right there. So we left Sevilla, now we're in the New World. Um, it's a Caribbean tropical forest area where greenness dominates. Conquerors managed to build a fortress to hold the wonderful Blast de Lizal, the park's hypercoaster. Okay, so we're gonna... Wow. What are the waterfalls? Oh, I feel like I'm getting rained on. <laughs> Is it raining here? There's an information booth. I would like some information about why I'm getting rained on. Alright, let's get out of that. Um, Salida... Oh, we have a flat right over here. We got the uh, Adventura in El Sanute. Oh, wow. Uh, I just butchered it. That's one thing I don't want to do. I, I hate trying to pronounce like names and words and stuff in other languages because I mean no disrespect to any of the countries that, you know, like this is Spanish, I think, so I mean no disrespect to the Spanish language. It's a beautiful language. I just can't pronounce half this stuff, so... I'm just a poor Kentucky boy. That's born and raised. I've never been too far outside of my area. <laughs> uh, let's see, so we got that. Um, what do we have over here? Let's see what this is. We're going to want to go back here because I'm pretty sure... Oh, we got a little viewing area of the coaster. So let's check this out. Oh, there goes the boat. Oh, some fountains. Looks like he's done some lighting on this too. Um, I did see... He did say that the lighting in the park is done. So it does have some beautiful lighting. But we probably won't be able to take the time to actually look at it. So I recommend everybody else... Please visit this park. That looks fun. Oh, we got another flat ride over there on the other side. Um, let's see here. Let's go back. My initial views of the area when I first kind of took a look at it, I kind of went around this way. So the fort is over this way. Um, there we have some little shops and stuff over there. Here's a sign. Let's see where we are. So the old Civ zone is over there. Blast to Lego. Okay, so the entrance to the hypercoaster is over here. There's the fort right there. And Adventura, Cenote, El Peota. Peote is also this way. Hurricane. Or Hurricane. I'm pretty sure that's Hurricane. Is right there. Okay. Alright, let's head this way. That the boat? Yep. Cool. There's so much to see in this park. It's 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 incredibly huge. Like the last one I did was Dan Thorpe's park, and I didn't do it very good justice, unfortunately. I even skipped a coaster, maybe two, because I didn't see them. Um, and I do apologize to Dan about that, but uh, yeah, his Storm Plateau, definitely go take that, another look at that if you would like, please. It is a very awesome park, and you can check out my video on it, and uh, then download the park and check it out for yourself. So let's see, Time Express. So we have the entrance, that we have another Time Express entrance over here. Hurricane is over here. Hurricane must be that flat ride I saw from the distance. Um... Or, maybe it's the River Rapids. 
because I just now noticed there's Ripper weapons over there. But what, what we're going to do is we're going to head up this way. We're going to go into the fort. Oh, I love the vines hanging down from there. <clears throat> and we'll head up these stairs. And, ah, oh, here's the fort. Look at this. Look at what you just look at it. Just just look at it. So that's the exit. And we have a, a this is just not the entrance to the coaster. This is a huge like open plaza right here. Oh, I love how he's got like it's an old it's such an old fort that the stonework is falling down, so he's put like frames and stuff up like wooden framework to kind of keep the stone in place it very much looks like ruins i i love this blah de la saw which i probably just butchered yet again oh nice stained glass window right there it's an interesting effect on that I like that Simple yet effective. It gets the point across. I knew exactly what it was supposed to be. Um, let's see. We're going to go this way. It looks like you get... If you go that way, you go all the way around. So, And then over here... Oh, look at all this treasure. It's probably not real. In other words, I would grab some of this so I could afford these trips. <laughs> Uh, let's see, here we go. Uh, I think we're supposed to go this way. Yes, pretty sure. Here we are. I think I just found it. Alright, coming around, coming around, coming around, coming around. Here we go. Alright, so we're going to wait on the next car to come in, and we're going to take a ride on this coaster and check it out. So, one moment, guys. We just got off Blas de Lizzo, uh, pronunciation, shrug, uh, so, and that was a very fantastic ride. Um, the only thing I didn't really care for was the very ending of it. All those quick turns coming into the brake runs and stuff right at the end was extremely, we come into that extremely fast. So I feel like the coaster has a ton of energy before it gets to the end, but yeah, I mean, other than that, it's it's very, very smooth, and I enjoyed that quite a bit. Very well done, and extremely tall. I mean, it's a, bon it's a monster of a coaster, so pretty cool. And it brings you out right here at the stained glass window, which I, I really want to point out that, that that is very awesomely well done, well thought out. I uh, hadn't seen anything done like this. I've seen people use the gems for glass before, 
but I've never seen a like a stained glass window done that way, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Alright, and excellent use of scenery and everything else. That is the only thing that I believe is inside of here, other than some shops and stuff, so you could maybe use a flat ride or something inside the fort somehow. I don't know what flat ride, but I mean, maybe something in there would be, kind of be good just to kind of give it a little bit more to come over to this area for it, because it kind of seems like a dead end once you get over here. So let's head back down this way. We're going to go back around. You get some awesome views of the coaster, too, from, like, well, it looks like from anywhere in a park, but uh, you get a great view of the lift hill. This reminds me of King's Island. Uh, when I first saw Diamondback, you can walk underneath the lift hill, and I realized just how big Diamondback was. Like, I saw pictures of it and stuff, but until I was actually there and looking straight up at the lift hill, it was just like, wow, that's a lot taller than I thought. <laughs> so, yeah, it totally gives you that feel. Alright, so we're going to head around this way. Excellent use of pathing, by the way. Um, I don't think there's a whole lot of, like, dead-end areas. It does seem like the park is going to, like, kind of circle around some. So that's a good thing. Uh, let's see. So let's head over into here. What do we have over here? What is this? This, uh, oh, here we have... Here's one of the Time Express stations. Nice use of the thatch roofing and stuff. I love this station. It's very well done. I just kind of want to go up here and just kind of take a look around the station real quick. Into the tunnel there. Nice use of lighting. Very well done. Alright. I think the drop on the hyper could be a bit steeper. You've got the lift hill right, but I think the drop could be a little, a little steeper. El Peyote. Pretty sure I'm pronouncing that right. So I thought this would have been Hurricane. Okay. So there's our flat ride for the area right there. And here is Hurricane, which I believe is the park's water ride. Ah, oh, that's ooh. Good to use of special effects. Alright, let's hit that in here. Through this little tunnel right here. You're getting soaked before you even get on the, the actual water ride, so. This is the River Rapids, I think. No? Not the River Rapids? This is not the River Rapids. We have a coaster. Let's head around here. What? I don't even know what I'm going, going to ride. <laughs> this appears to be a coaster. Or maybe it's not. Actually, I think... I don't know what I'm coming to. It's just going to be a surprise. What are we... It is a coaster. Uh, it's not the River Rapids, I thought. Oh, and here comes a train. Perfect. So I'm going to jump on this real quick, and I'll be right back, guys.
All right, so we just got off of Hurricane, and that was a pretty pretty cool ride. Uh, it's a pretty large family coaster, very speedy, lots of great views. Probably not my favorite coaster I've been on so far in the park, but I mean, it's not bad. Look at, I love that view of the boat. There are so many fantastic views in this park. It's, oh, so, so well done. I said this in the beginning of the, the video, and I'm going to say it again. I mean, this is definitely a labor of love. You can tell for sure that it's a labor of love. Um, and, you know, like I said, he, he says this is his first park he's created. And I know the feeling, because I've been working on Vista View for over about two years now, and it's still nowhere near done. So, definitely get that. All right, so up there is where we just came from. Oh, look, there's a Tiki Cheeky guy. Uh, let's see, so we just came from up there. We're going to head over into the next zone now, which is going to be across this bridge into the old civilization. The old civilization, you know, basically it's, uh, you know, you feel like an Aztec. You find the green heart of America within the pyramid and enjoy the search of El Dorado, the mythic Aztec gold city. That sounds really, really cool. I'm reading that from the brochure, so... That sounds good. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to give it a stop. We've spent, uh, this is already quite a long video. It's a huge park. Uh, I'm going to bring you the next episode on Monday for this. So you'll be able to check out part two of my park walkthrough of the park. And we'll check out the last two remaining areas, which we have. The next part will be the old civilization. We'll ride everything over in that area and the fourth remaining area as well. If you guys want to visit this park for yourself, make sure you do so. Uh, go over to the Steam Workshop, download it. I'll have the link below the video in the description. So check that out, and if you enjoy it, if you download it, make sure you give him a thumbs up on his workshop because that helps the creators and stuff. A lot of people are always saying it's always the same creators on the front page of the workshop. That's because, you know, they're the only ones that get the ratings. They know how to play the ratings game. They've got lots of friends who upvote them and stuff like that. So the only way that we're going to get other people, you know, to dethrone the ones that are always on top is, you know, because there's a lot of stuff, a lot of hidden gems in the workshop that nobody really sees because they never make it to the front page. So I highly suggest, you know, give it a thumbs up. Anytime you actually, if you download something, there's something on the workshop you find that you enjoy, you make sure you leave a comment and give a thumbs up. At least give a thumbs up on it, you know, because that helps the creators out more than you think. Uh, that I'm going to leave it here, and like I said, we'll be back Monday for part two of our walkthrough. What a view. <laughs> I, can't, I can't leave the park. Um, we're going to be back Monday with another view of the second part, the second half of the park. And I will see you then. So, wherever you guys are in the world, whatever time you're watching this, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I will see you Monday.